You know, when I stand here and I have a little kid walk up to me and tell me he wants to take the Marlboro cigarette out of my hand and smoke it himself, it just warms my goddamn heart. What happens on the course stays on the course. All right, well, throw me the old club. I think it's. I think we're having a golf battle. Pass me that fucking club back. Oh, uh, you have an evolution that needs perfecting. Well, actually, you'll never perfect. You'll never perfect it. Never perfect it. You'll never perfect it. Welcome to Light Struck Film Festival! Do I have your attention now? <laughs> Good afternoon, it's time for the biggest and hugest Q&A of your life. <laughs> okay, so what I did was put an AMA out on Instagram and I got about eight good responses. Um, some of them are a little spicy, a little personal, a little sexual. Uh, we're here at the Thousand Towers where our interview is, is going great right about now. Yo, do you guys want to be interviewed? No? God fucking damn it. Have you ever been on a have you ever been on a date? Hey, what's up? This is Bill, and this is UMBC, where there's more than meets the eye. Let's go take a look. And if you thought we were over, you need a second opinion. Let's check it out. I had 47 points that game. It was definitely some sort of team effort just because the team was doing a really good job of giving me the ball. Yeah, sure. He'll load it up. He'll put it up. Alright, so coming into the season, I wasn't ranked the number one point guard in the country. That's changed as of recently because I kill it every chance I get. It's just doing some jello shots off of Zendaya. That was pretty dope. And we're almost done shooting the music video. People aren't staring at me anymore because I'm wearing a regular shirt, except somebody just stared at me. Ask like, please settle down, sit down and just be nostalgic. What's the point of living life? There's no point if you don't talk about it. Well, you're right, that makes sense. I'm a mess, all the stress was all of the hypocrites telling me. Say hi, Black and Bush. Uh, oh, he likes you. Heal, heal, Black and Bush. Up, upsy daisy, quack and bush. We'll be late for dinner. There's no other coffee shop quite like Panneria Coffee Shop, right? <laughs> right? The Panneria Coffee Shop is located in Prague, right next to Charles University and the river, the big river. And, um, I just got some cake, and I also just got some coffee, and let's see how it tastes. See how it tastes. What's up, Playboy? What's up? What do you want? Yo, can I feature on that album, though? Dude, what album? You start to wonder if Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders had some sort of conglomeration of uh, tariffs going on in China, large fires in South Africa. The neutrality of the issue is a confound. When you think about Benghazi, and the reaction by the Democrats to start controlling our speech, and in addition to form these conspiratorial election funding rabbit holes. Oh my god. No, oh, this is just a bunch of old documents. Mr. Killens entered the facility to leave some mail for Killens. Krista Samuels dealt with the matter, and then Chandler and Kathleen entered the facility. I'm reading this right now. Sorry, I'm so sweaty. I just walked through like a swamp. <laughs> 